Next on Woodsong's Americana band Whiskey Shivers. And one of the finest guitar players in North America, Billy Strings. Well, I'm standing all alone by the river of my home, thinking about the days I left behind. All the years I roamed, not a nickel can I show. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by Kentucky Tourism. Information for families, fans, and corporate conventions about the bluegrass state of Kentucky is online at KentuckyTourism.com. By the Big Ass Fan Company, manufacturing industrial sized fans for warehouses, ranches, schools, corporate offices, and the military worldwide. By the Martin Guitar Company in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, making handcrafted acoustic guitars since 1833. By VisitLex.com, providing information and activities to visitors of historic Lexington, Kentucky, the home of the Woodsong's Old Time Radio Hour. Here on the Louisiana Hayride, his name is Hank Williams. The best in from the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boy. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Horns. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hucker, Michael Jonathan. Yeah, you hung your soul from the limb of a tree And you justify yourself, you call that liberty, oh no Well, black man, white man, angry man Wrap a rope around a statue that's got blood on his hand, oh no That war is raging from sea to shining sea. Hey, big boy, what have you done to the statue of Robert E. Lee? You can pull it down, but the rope remains around the statue of Robert E. Lee. You can stare it in the eye and you run and hide But you can't disguise the hatred deep in your eyes, oh no That war is raging from sea to shining sea Hey big boy, what have you done to the statue of Robert E. Lee? You can't pull it down, but the rope remains around the statue of Robert E. Lee. Celebrate all those lives that were lost. And then you call that civil war. And celebrate all that blood and gore. With a statue on your lawn You hung your soul from the limb of a tree But nothing can erase the history Of the statue of Robert E. Lee
And welcome to the beautiful and the historic Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're at the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the gateway city to the magnificent Appalachian Mountains, one of the most artistic communities in North America where we get to do our broadcast every single week from this beautiful theater. Isn't the Lyric a gorgeous place for our home? And we're so glad that you could join us here. Artists come from everywhere to be on this stage. You don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very, very good. And boy, that's a good description of both of the artists that we're featuring on this show. First up is a fellow returning to our broadcast. We're so glad that he's here. He is one of the most powerful and dynamic of the Young Roots musicians that are out there. A brilliant musician, and he's got a magnificent new album. I can't believe that this is actually his debut album. But uh, he's here with it. He's going to play the title song called Turmoil and tinfoil. Please welcome the amazing Billy Strings to the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Foil, just the way it used to be But I had the strength and I will learn How to fly on broken wings Though you never said you're sorry I forgive you even then But I feel inconsequential In the current state I am It's 
the title cut of his brand new album. It's called uh, Turmoil and Tinfoil. Billy Strings, it's nice to have you here, buddy. Welcome back. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. You got your start, uh, musically anyway, uh, in, uh, in Michigan around Traverse City. You, you started picking and singing and, and playing jams, right? Yeah, I grew up in Ionia, which is just a couple hours south of there, and then uh, yeah, moved up to Traverse City, met up with Don Julin, and, yeah. and started kind of playing some gigs around, which is... Uh, how I met you last time. That's you know, right. So. You were here with with, uh, with Don, which was a was a great show. And you have a bit of a Kentucky connection, don't don't you? You a little bit. Yeah, I used to live in Moorhead when I was Moorhead, just a baby. Kentucky. That's right. <laughs> it's almost like like coming home. So let's let's talk about uh, your guitar style. You are high testosterone flat picker. <laughs> is a good way of describing it. So let's talk about the preciseness of your guitar playing. How, does, how do you get, explain to the audience how you're getting that really fast, decisive strike on your pick. Uh, I listened to a whole bunch of Doc Watson when I was growing up. And was that your interest when you were a kid? I mean, was bluegrass uh, an interest, or were you into like heavy metal and rock, electric guitar? Well, I cut my teeth on bluegrass music, and uh, you know, I played music with my dad and his friends as I was a kid, and that's how I learned how to play. And you know, when I was 12 or 13 years old, I started to want to play music with people that were my age. You know what I mean? Right. In middle school, and the only music that was going on was uh, heavy metal and stuff. So I did eventually venture off and. Uh, experience other avenues, but uh, my roots are still kind of rooted, you know. Well, the, the experience obviously had an effect on your music. I'm going to read for the audience a Rolling Stone review of your performance style. Rolling Stone magazine says, Billy Strings has the head-banging speed of thrash metal channeled through flat-picking guitar and mandolin with a touch of end-of-the-world psychedelia. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously the heavy metal years had, had a good effect on your acoustic playing. Well, some of that energy <laughs> stuck with me, yeah, yeah, and I can't shake it. It's just... Uh... Well, I want the audience to stay tuned because in the second half hour, we're going to break format, and you're going to play a monster epic roots music uh, masterpiece. Oh. So, and it's on, it's on the new album, but I want to introduce the band because you've got some wonderful musicians yeah. with you uh, playing mandolin, Mr. Sterling Abernathy over here on banjo, <laughs> Billy failing. And Royal Massat on the upright bass. Let's get into this beautiful new album. The CD's called Turmoil and Tinfoil. Great title for an album. This is a tune called While I'm Waiting Here. It is Billy Strings on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Album. It's been over 30 days I've not received a letter Now my fingernails are chewed down to the bone So many different ways I've tried to say I'm sorry While I'm left here in this 8 by 10 alone It's not the four walls moving in that tortures me It's not the cold cement to shivers down my spine It's just them visions in my head that make me paranoid and wonder if when I get out, will you be mine? I never should have treated you so bad, my love, I'm sorry. I was broke, but I can see that now it's true My picket fence did turn to razor wire And now I'm waiting trial For things you have to know I did not do If I could get a word with you, I'd be just fine Or any envelope with both your name and mine Would be enough to keep you going In a world where I'm left knowing that There's something more to live for just outside Seems like the last time, feels like the first Though I've had bad days, this has to be my worst I'm left thinking of you, dear, while I'm waiting here
I haven't seen the sun since it rested on your shoulder while we walked along that vacant riverside. They carried me away to a place where I'll get older if I cannot prove to them you never died. Seems like the last time, feels like the first. Though I've got bad days, this has to be my worst. I'm left thinking of you, dear, while I'm waiting here. Now, coming up from Austin, Texas, we saw a YouTube clip of these guys, and it was, it was, it was musically brilliantly creepy. And I was like, we have got to invite these guys on the show, and they're here. They've got a great uh, CD called Some Part of Something. It's a wonderful album. This is a tune called Reckless. Please welcome from Austin, Texas, Whiskey Shivers to the Wood Songs. Thank you. Old Time Radio Live. Whiskey Shivers on our stage soon called Reckless from their CD, Some Part of Something. Let's say hi to the uh, fiddle player, Mr. Bobby Fitzgerald. Bobby, it's nice to have you here. Hi. Howdy. We were saying to uh, Billy before, it's a really high testosterone uh, form of music. I mean, how do you describe what you do? Uh, it's a party. We're trying to have a good time. That's it. <laughs> right? Yeah, we're all here and to have fun. Like and that's what it's all about. Every night, every show. So a lot of your music tends to be really visual, and you guys have worked hard on presenting yourself on video. Where do the ideas come from? I'm um, all over the place. It's uh, a lot of times the people that we end up working with who produce the, uh, the videos themselves who kind of bring this wild idea when they hear the music, this crazy off-the-wall thing, and it's like, yeah, that sounds great. It should all be crazy off the wall. Let's see if we can make this a reality. Does the recognition help you in the end, I mean, as far as getting concert performances and gigs? Yeah, I'd say so. I think, you know, anytime you get attention, it's going to help, usually. <laughs> and uh, this kind of stuff, uh, seeing it visually, too, if you haven't been able to come to a show and get the energy and the vibe that is coming along during that party, maybe this will give a bit of an idea of uh, the whimsy that you yeah. might find. <laughs> Unless you're a chicken, then you're not going to want to go to see, to see that now. Let's talk about the history of the band. I, Craigslist had a big role in putting the band together. Tell me the story. Yeah, Andrew, on our bass over here, Andrew Van Voorhees, uh, he and I met through Craigslist, and uh, it was a hilarious post about how he's the best bass player in Austin, and uh, 
So, so Andrew, what did you post? What, what did you put out there? Pretty much exactly what Bobby said. Uh, I said I was better than everyone. Uh, <laughs> and you'd be a fool not to be in a band with me. <laughs> it's pretty much true, right? And so, yeah, no, and so Bobby responded and said, I'm the best fiddle player. Uh, Bobby wanted to know if, uh, if I wanted to pick on some old-timey jams. That's exactly what he said. Well, let's round out the, uh, the, re the rest of the band. On upright uh, uh, bass, of course, we're talking to uh, Andrew, uh, you know, the kind of was the co-founder of the group. Is that fair to say? Sure. Yeah. Right. And then uh, over there on banjo, James Bookert over there at the end. Woo! Hello. So, James... How did, how, did, uh, how did your addition to the band come to be? How did you end up joining the band? I used to play uh, Tuesday Residency with like a throw-together band. Uh, we were called Bluegrassic Park. <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> eventually some, some very intoxicated young lady told me that I should uh, play with a band. Check out a band called Whiskey Shivers that they didn't have a banjo player. So that was, uh, I think I emailed them. Uh -huh. I think I'd like on maybe like a Monday. And then on Wednesday, I, I guess I auditioned. I went and played with them, and that was Here we are. six years ago, maybe. Okay, and, and something that you and I were talking about uh, backstage before the show, and, and for the sake of the radio audience, there's, there's not a lot of banjo players of color in the Roots music world. And so how did, how did, how did your uh, uh, adaptation of the banjo uh, come out? Um, you know, I just heard it. I grew up playing classical guitar. My parents kind of tricked me. Into, into playing classical guitar and <laughs> eventually got into rock and roll. There was, there was one point when I was in second grade in uh, Tacoma, Washington, and there was a bluegrass band that came, and there was a banjo player, and I was actually in disbelief. I was like, no, I don't think he's really doing that right now. And I, that was the very first time I saw it, and it kind of stuck with me, and I played guitar until I was 20, and that was 12 years ago, and I got a banjo on my 20th birthday. And that was the end of my playing so, guitar. So, and you, you waited that long before you actually started working? Because you're an excellent, excellent banjo player. Your style is really good. <laughs> this song that is the subject of this video that's gotten hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views uh, that have disturbed millions of people who have watched <laughs> this video. So do, do you want to give a brief description of what the video is like? Um. Well, let's just say by the end of it, you might have lost your appetite or gained your appetite. I don't, you might be hungry for some... <laughs> well, just watch. I yeah, you'll, you need, you'll, you'll need get, to go get. watch it. Let's go ahead and listen to it. The band is Whiskey Shivers. The tune is Cluck Old Hen on the Wood Songs. Old Time Radio Hour.
Cluck Old Hen is a song from their brand new album, Some Part of Something from Austin, Texas. It's Whiskey Shivers. We're going to get back to them in the second half hour. We've got the incredible Billy Strings and his amazing band on the show. And wait till you meet this week's Wood Songs Kid. We're going to be back with all of it right after this. Hi, this is Billy Bragg, and you're listening to folk singer Michael Jonathan and the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And thank you, Billy Bragg, from London, England, all the way here to our home in Lexington, Kentucky. Welcome, everybody, for joining us here at the beautiful and historic Lyric Theater. We're broadcasting worldwide on over 500 radio stations. We want to welcome some new affiliates, KOWS in Sonoma County, California, and uh, KC Cafe Radio in Summit, Missouri joining our family. We are also broadcasting in 173 nations from South Korea to Kuwait on American Forces Radio Network. Puts this show on the radio in 173 countries, now on two channels, plus every single military base in the world, every U.S. naval ship in the world, every Coast Guard vessel sailing in North America. And as always, we want to say hello to the men and women out there that are working hard. So we invite a youngster from somewhere in North America to come on our show. They get to play a song in front of seasoned uh, touring musicians. And we have today from Bloomington, Indiana, please welcome 11-year-old Ian Shaw. How you doing, Ian? So, Ian, you're, you're 11 years old, right? Yes, I am. And uh, you go to public school or are you homeschooled? I go to public school. And, and what grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade, and you're holding a ukulele. Yes. So when did you start playing the ukulele? I started playing the ukulele about six years ago when I was five. Yeah. And what is it that you love most about it? Well, you can really do anything you want on it. Like, you can do anything from, like, heavy metal to, like, <laughs> pop. So, yeah. Heavy metal on the ukulele. Yeah. That's, that's it's been done. Billy Strings Jr. <laughs> so this is going to be cool. So you, you picked a song that uh, when, when we were deciding what song for you to sing, you kind of just pulled this thing out of your hat. And are you a Louis Armstrong fan? Yeah. You are? I do. And, and you've, you, did you find that this song worked really well on the ukulele? I mean, it was kind of challenging to get it on the ukulele, mm -hmm. um, but I made it work, I y guess. Yeah, you did. Because you're awesome, because you're 11. Thank you. He's this week's Wood Songs kid in the spirit of Louis Armstrong. He's going to do a brilliant classic song on his ukulele. The tune is called Georgia from Bloomington, Illinois. It's Ian Shaw, 11 years old. Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through, just an old Sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia, Georgia, a song for you comes a sweet.
future on my mind. Thank you. This week's Woodsong's kid, 11 year old Ian Shaw from Bloomington, Indiana. He started out picking and singing uh, in uh, Upper uh, Michigan, and now he's got his very uh, first uh, debut album. It's a brilliant album. This is a tune called Sterling Abernathy. I'm sorry. It's this. Wait a minute. Let's talk about this. This is the big epic, isn't it? That's what we're doing here. That's why I was confused. So, Billy Strings, you've got on your album a long song. Uh, sort of. So. So tell me about the writing of this piece, because we're going to let you play the whole thing, the, 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 the putting together, the writing, the producing of it. Yeah, I think when I came up with this song, it was kind of an idea to have a song that has, you know, a form up until and after this one point, which in between those two moments is uh, improvised. You know, it's kind of like a game. Each night is different, which makes it really fun to perform live, because mm -hmm. we don't know what the heck we're going to get ourselves into, you know, <laughs> until it happens. Well, we were, I was listening to you uh, during the uh, sound check and stuff. I mean, it really is a brilliant piece of music, and it really uh, it makes the albums, to me anyway, stand out even more. So you got 12 tunes on this album, and it took you a while to come out with your debut album. Yeah. It, you, didn't, you didn't rush this out, did you? No, not necessarily at all. You know, you've you got to have the songs, and you can't uh, rush that either. Writing is, to me, you know, I've got to be alone to write. I've got to... If I'm too happy, I can't write a song, you know? <laughs> well, you must have been miserable when you wrote this, because it's really good. <laughs> it's a really good song. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let you play it. We're going to break format. This is a longer song than uh, listeners to Wood songs are used to, but we want them to play the, the whole thing. From the CD, Turmoil and Tinfoil, this is a classic epic called Meet Me at the Creek. It's Billy Strings on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio.
single can I show in the river hills to ease my worried mind? I'm letting go of all my trouble. I think I'll be right here to stay. Well, the water keep churning while my whole heart is burning. Muddy water, take my pain away. Muddy water, take my pain away. Yes, that song is on his new album. The CD is called Turmoil and Tinfoil. Meet Me at the Creek is the amazing song. The next artist, they've got a new CD called Some Part of Something. They're going to do a tune called True Love Will Find You in the End. Welcome from Austin, Texas, Whiskey Shivers to the Wood Songs. Thank you. Old Time Radio. This is a promise with a catch Only if you're looking can it find you This true love is searching to How can I recognize you unless you step out into the light, the light. Don't be sad, no, you will. Don't give up until true love finds
Beautiful song from their new album, Some Part of Something, Whiskey Shivers. Let's uh, talk again to Bobby Fitzgerald, the uh, fiddle player. So you, you guys have gotten interesting reviews of the sound and style of mm -hmm. Whiskey Shivers. I'm just going to throw a couple at you that I found. Washington Post referred to your music as apocalyptic Americana. Ooh. Right? <laughs> NPR described you as phonetic bluegrass with a punk spirit. And another uh, reviewer uh, described it glowingly. He loved it, and he called it trash grass. Yeah. So, <laughs> and he loved it. I mean, he was, this was a positive review. I mean, oh, he, yeah. he loved you guys. So, so I mean, you're, you're taking the bluegrass genre, and you're kind of like turning it upside down, twisting it around, making it fun, mm -hmm. right? And, and what do you want your audience to leave with, besides just a good time obviously you're a party band sure but what, what do you what do you what do you want the audience to leave with with this this music that you're doing well first there was there's another uh review of us too from the austin police department that said uh, please stop <laughs> that obnoxious music or that obnoxious singing i think it was <laughs> uh, but that being said uh i think uh the end the end goal of what we want to do is is try to just connect you know we've all got we've all got our day-to-day -day problems and our worries and our concerns but if we can all just kind of come together for an hour and a half, one night a week, and have fun, and just let that go for a minute, and just kind of walk away from the end of that feeling a little better, and just get a minute to forget about your problems, and we can all just connect with each other, and know that we all are in the same struggle together, but we can all have fun together too, and help each other. So I think that's... That's a good that's message. Out, so. One fellow we didn't get a chance to talk to is the acoustic guitar player, Jeff Hortliosa. I hope I pronounced that yes, right. Sir. So, yeah. so you, you have a bit of a Kentucky connection as well. I was, I was born here. Yeah, yeah born in Kentucky. <laughs> so. Lived here. <laughs> Living in Austin right now? Living in Austin, yeah. I went to a, um, I'm going to name drop here because I'm in Kentucky, but I went to Center for four years. And Center then College in Danville, uh, yeah. And I moved on to uh, moved on to Austin shortly after that. It seemed like the uh, Kentucky scene was saturated with fantastic pickers, so I figured I'd go to a place where maybe bluegrass wasn't as prolific. So, so uh, I mean, was your background bluegrass music? Oh no, 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 no. Um, um, what I'm finding out is very few, especially tonight, very few of the musicians have a bluegrass background. Um. Well, I guess mine came from. Pirating music, I got really into Nickel Creek in college, and uh, along with um, Ultimate Frisbee and Racquetball and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I remember I saw Mark O'Connor at, at school, and he had actually Brian Sutton on guitar with him, and I was mm. just got obsessed with them all, and then I found Brian Sutton, and from there it was shortly into Tony Rice, and then Clarence White, and all those One connects you to the other. Yeah, doesn't? right, right. I mean, it's easy now, because you just go to Pandora, and you're like, bluegrass, and... 20 people will pop up. And there it is. Well, I'm sure you guys are popping up on a lot of playlists now, too. It's a beautiful album. It's called Some Part of Something. This is a tune called Long Gone. It is Whiskey Shivers on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Thank you. 
in my left hand that need to kill this man. Take it down, single dry. And life that I once had. Buy beer to drown it all. Make it an alcohol. No one hears those dying words. No one hears that final call. Long gone. Wasn't it great having Whiskey Shivers on the broadcast tonight? From Bloomington, Indiana, this week's Wood Songs kid, Ian Shaw, 11 years old. And the always amazing Billy Strings. All the artists on the show tonight, whether it's the Wood Songs Kid or Billy Strings or Whiskey Shivers, what they're doing is taking what you're used to and they're changing it and turning it into their own thing. It's like they've got like music is this beautiful canvas and they're putting their own colors into it. Sometimes you think of bluegrass and you automatically think of traditional bluegrass and you get locked into this box. And what they're doing, they're not they're not just stepping outside of the box, they're crushing the box and they're creating their own new thing, which is what an artist is supposed to do. Um, Picasso said something offhand when he was talking about thinking out of the box. He said, the greatest obstacle to creativity is good taste. What he meant, what he meant was that sometimes your preconceived notion of what something's supposed to be like stops you from creating beyond that preconceived notion. John F. Kennedy said, if art is to nourish the roots of our culture, we must all set the artists free to follow their vision wherever it takes them. Whiskey Shivers is doing that, Billy Strings is doing that, an 11-year-old kid can sing Louis Armstrong on a ukulele. That's what we should all be doing. My name's Michael Jonathan, I'm a folk singer, I am a song farmer, and we'll see you next week on the Woods Songs Old Time Radio. Good night. You've been listening to Woods Songs broadcast number 910. Michael's unreleased opening song was The Statue. Well, there's our show. I hope you had a good time. We sure had a good time making it. If you'd like to send me an email, I'd love to hear from you. My email address is michael at woodsongs.com. If you visit our website, there's a huge archive page of hundreds of past shows. While you're there, you can find out how you can become a song farmer. And speaking of the archives, here's a scene from one of those past shows now. We'll see you again next week on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Closed captioning provided by the Deering Banjo Company.
The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by Kentucky Tourism. Information for families, fans, and corporate conventions about the bluegrass state of Kentucky is online at KentuckyTourism.com. By the Big Ass Fan Company, manufacturing industrial sized fans for warehouses, ranches, schools, corporate offices, and the military worldwide. By the Martin Guitar Company in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, making handcrafted acoustic guitars since 1833. By VisitLex.com, providing information and activities to visitors of historic Lexington, Kentucky, the home of the Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour.